here with a video on a ton of new lip products from Milani. There is a red and orange set and a pink set, and I'm going to attempt to show you what they look like on my lips so you can kind of get an idea of which ones you might like, and I will let you know my first impressions. I have swatched them on my hand and I posted a picture, I think I posted a picture on uh, Instagram, but I have not tried them on my lips yet. So, the first set is these are their new color statement lip lipsticks um, and these are going to be the pinks and corals that I'll start with first um, there's two new lip liners the first one is in hot pink or haute pink and it's a really pretty pinky coral color and the next color is all natural and these are super creamy they are a pencil liner, so you will have to sharpen it, but they are very creamy. I don't feel that it really drags at all when I swipe it across my hand. So I'm gonna swatch the colors on my lips so you can see how they look on me and kind of um, let you know what I think. The first color is called Pink Frost, number 09, and it's a really pretty frosty pink. This is it swatched on my hand. And let's see how it looks on the lips. First of all, they smell amazing. They smell like um, like Jolly Ranchers, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Like frosty lipsticks, it's a really pretty pink, but for me personally, I'm not one to really gravitate towards frost colors. It's not sticky on the lips. It feels super smooth and creamy. I don't find that that one applied patchy at all. So that's pink frost. The next color is called Fruit Punch number 11. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of a mid-tone pinky coral shade, and it is a cream finish. All right, so this is what Fruit Punch looks like on me. It's definitely more of a corally pink color. It applies really creamy. Again, it's not sticky. It's really smooth on the lips. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it'll be very beautiful for like the spring summertime. So yeah, that is Fruit Punch. Next color is called Rose Amour number 33, and it's this really pretty pink here, like right up my alley. A nice fuchsia pink, again, kind of that cream formula. And let's see how it applies. So this is Rose Amour, super creamy, very, very pigmented. You don't need a lot. It is a really pretty fun pink color. Goes on really nice. Again, has that same creamy texture. So that is Rose Amour. Number 14, Rose Hip. And it's a beautiful neon pink. Again, a color that is right up my alley, something I really, really like. Is number 14, Rose Hip. Beautiful neon fuchsia pink, definitely love this color. So far, this is one of my favorite out of all of the shades that I've swatched so far. Just a really fun, bright neon uh, pink color. Really, really pretty. So that's number 14, Rose Hip. Love this one, favorite so far. 12, Flamingo Pose. And this is a really fun neon coral shade. Here it is right there. All right, so you can see this is quite neon. This is again, Flamingo Pose, number 12. Really bright coral, absolutely gorgeous. Again, another one of those shades that you definitely wanna make sure you have some pearly white teeth to rock this color, um, cause it can tend to make your teeth look a little yellow, but the color is absolutely beautiful. Again, a perfect spring summer shade. So that is Flamingo Pose. Next one is 15 Hot Pink Rage and it's a really pretty pink shade. This one feels more of a matte finish. I love this color. It's a really nice mid-tone pink. Um, nothing too bright or too crazy, uh, but it does give you a nice pop to your lips. So this one's really pretty. It is a more of a matte finish, um, but it still feels super creamy to the lips. So I'm going to be showing you now the last color in the pink shades. So the last color is called Flirty Fuchsia number 16. Definitely something that I would love. I love my bright pinks. And there it is right there. Really pe really pretty bright fuchsia. So there is flirty fuchsia. Love this color. Again, one of my favorites. So. Pink and coral benches. My favorites are number 16, flirty fuchsia. Number 14, rose hip, which was that bright, pretty neon color. And I also really liked hot pink rage, which was number 15. So those are my three favorites, although all the colors are very, very beautiful. It just depends on your skin tone and what color range you are looking for. So now I'm gonna show you the reds and the oranges. Now those ones are a little bit more difficult for me to pull off, um, but I'm excited to see how they look and see which ones are my favorite. So then the red liner is the 
True Red. And it's a really pretty red liner. Start off with the oranges and go kind of to what's dark. Oh, I just yeah. had a cough fit, so I'm like losing my voice. The first one is number three, Orangina. Orange Gina, straight up orange. It is orange, orange Gina. It is straight up orange. Definitely not my color. If you can rock an orange lipstick, more power to you, girl, but not, um, not a color I find flattering on myself. I find that it makes my teeth look yellow. Um, but you may need an orange lipstick and it is really creamy. It feels nice on the lips. Just not a color that um, works well. Number one, Sweet Nectar. Again, another bright corally orange, but this one is a matte finish or like a satin finish. So that's Sweet Nectar. Again, they all feel super creamy on the lips. They don't feel drying. Um, again, just not a shade that would be something I would gravitate towards. If you were doing a fun photo shoot or something, I think this would be really fun. Um, but not a color that I would tend to gravitate towards. Like orange lipsticks. Um, I think it would be a nice orange lipstick. All right, so the next shade is number four, High Voltage. And this is kind of a red orange. Right there. I think this is a really beautiful color. It's still red, but it has those orange tones to it, but I think it's really flattering. I actually find it you know, somewhat flattering on my skin tone. Even though I'm super pale and fair skin, I think it's a really pretty color. Um, if you like more of those orangey reds, I think you would really like this color. So that one is high voltage. It's called Best Red. And this looks like it's a matte finish. Yep, really pretty matte red. So this is Best Red. I love this color. Mind you, I would most likely wear it with a lip liner. It would be a little bit cleaner, but for the sake of this video, it's a quick application. I love the color. It's one of those true classic pinup reds. Absolutely beautiful. So it is a matte, so it's still creamy, just not as creamy as some of the other ones, but it still feels really nice on the lips, and I love this red color. So this is Best Red, number 07. All-time favorites out of the red and orange so far. So Best Red, amazing. The next color is Red Label, number 05. And it looks like this, a really beautiful red. This one reminds me of Best Red, but maybe a little bit glossier and a little bit more um, cooler tone. So this is Best Red, and this is Red Label. This is Red Label, I love this color as well. Beautiful, beautiful, cooler toned red. I think it looks super flattering on pale or fair skin tones. I think it would actually look really pretty on any skin tone. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous red. So, so far, Red Label and Best Red are my favorites. This is a little bit more brighter and creamier than Best Red. It's called Ruby Valentine Number no. 8. And there it is swatched. It's a little bit more of a orangey or really red. beautiful on the lips. Um, I think that it makes your teeth look really nice and white as well. So this one is super, it's kind of like an in-between of Red Label and Best Red. So these three are so far all-time favorites of the reds and orange. Best Red, Ruby Valentine, which I'm wearing, and Red Label. So these three are thumbs up. Last but not least, we have Cherry Crave. This is what it looks and like. there's a swatch right there. So that is Cherry Crave. It's a little bit more of a deeper red color. Really pretty. Um, if you like more of those, kind of like, it's got a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. It's really pretty. So that is Cherry Crave. All right, so that is all of the Milani lip colors. Now they also came out with some new liners that I want to share with you. Um, the first color I have here is called Black Vinyl, and these are their Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner Waterproof Liners. So, you know me, I am on a waterline, a waterline. I am on a liquid eyeliner kick, so I'm really excited to play with these a little bit more and use them in tutorials. So, this is what the packaging looks like. And this one is called Black Vinyl. And here is the tip on it. Beautiful, glides really, really easily. Um, so, I'm excited to play with that. I also have this one in Black Gems, which appears to be possibly like a shimmery. Oh yeah, it has really beautiful glitter in it. I doubt my camera will pick it up, but it's the bottom swatch. And it has just multicolored, really beautiful glitters in it. The next color is called Sparkling Turquoise. Blue shimmers in it as well. We have Emerald Glisten, Emerald on the bottom. And the last one is called Prismatic Purple, which this one should be really fun to play with. The purple. 
So be prepared to see some tutorials using those. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful when I try the lipsticks on. I'm really trying to um, make things a little bit more easier for you guys to really understand the true pigment of the color, see how they look like on an actual person instead of just a swatch. Um, my lips are very raw. My lips are really raw from doing it, but I hope it helped you out a little bit. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing that flirty fuchsia color. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.